today we're going to be having an epic battle between two booster boxes to see which one has the best pull. Oh my god! I don't know how we do this! I've been on the rolling and another alternate! Where is this box from? I don't think I've ever seen a box this good. These are booster boxes of brilliant stars in both English and Japanese. The English box is going for around $140, and the Japanese box goes for around $85. Inside each box has the chance at some incredible pulls, such as all the Charizard cards, all the Arceus cards, and a ton more. But the big question for today is which one of these boxes will have the best pulls inside? Only one way to find out. So here we have our two booster boxes. This is the Japanese version called Starbirth, and this is the English version called Brilliant Stars. And uh, I think today I want to start off with the English version. The set was released last year in the year 2022. It's a really cool one. One of my favorites of all time from the Sword and Shield era. And honestly, the pull rates are really good on this one, so I'm kind of like interested to see will this one like absolutely destroy the Japanese version, or will we get some like really, really good stuff out of the Japanese box? Um, I, I know for sure the English box usually is going to just be like a really good box either way, so let's uh, just get it started. And also, if you'd like a chance to win one sealed booster box of Brilliant Stars, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Very few things are going to beat sitting back and just opening up 36 packs of Brilliant Stars. I mean, this is a really cool set to open up just because of all the cool stuff that you can actually pull out of here. Um, it's just, and the pull rate, everything like that is so cool. Let's see if we get some bangers, though, out of this box. We got 36 packs in here, and this box, again, goes around $140 online. We got a regular hollow, and, of course, all the really cool cards can be pulled out of here, such as the Charizard alternate artwork. Um, what else? Arceus alternate artwork, Arceus gold card. The, the list goes on and on. I mean, it's just a great set to open up with great pull rates. I really love this set if I didn't make that clear enough already. We got a Luminion regular V card. All right, continuing on, we got a V card already. Let's see if we can uh, make that a little bit better here. I'm trying to get some of those uh, Arceus cards, and uh, you know what? I'll take an Ultra Artwork Luminion as well. It's a really great card in this set. There's just so many good cards to pull. The list goes on and on with this one. Breloom. And the Trainer Gallery is incredible, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. And you can still get them in these white code card packs, so any pack you open of Brilliant Stars is still very possible to get some goods. We got the Doof, Electabuzz, Halucha, Golurk. The most valuable card in this set, by the way, is going to be that alternate where Charizard goes for around like $155 just raw. Um, as well as the Rainbow Charizard is pretty big and the uh, alternate where Arceus. And there's just so many. And uh, yeah, the Trainer Gallery cards are pretty sick. Staryu, Riolu. Oh my god! I don't know how we do this! <laughs> Dude! I, I, I don't know if I'm from the future. I don't know if I have some kind of powers to like... I don't know what we got here, but we just literally pulled the best card the entire set. I don't know. I, I can't. I've been on a roll late. <laughs> Dude, just what in the world? Are you kidding me right now? We got some crazy luck in the Polka Cave. I will tell you that. The alternate artwork Charizard, literally the, the $155 card. <laughs> Man, like what? All right, well, I'm going to tell you this. The Japanese version is going to have a little bit of trouble trying to keep up with this one. Already on what the was that like the fifth pack or something bro are you kidding me right now it was like the fifth booster pack out of this box and we literally pulled the best card the entire set that is not easy that is not easy to do at all i don't know what i just did there why do i keep doing that lately too oh yeah I, what, and then we got we got a trainer gallery card though we'll take it the flareon oh my god that was just crazy that actually that like woke me up <laughs> that literally woke me up oh my god what what that's like, that is not easy at all. Even just to pull an Ulster artwork is really tough. But then to get the Charizard one, you kidding me? Actually, I think I pulled that card last time we opened a box of Brilliant Stars. Or no, it wasn't a box. But I, I did it like a, uh, it was like an opening where it was like dark in here. Like I did like a, it was like ASMR, I guess, kind of. And, uh, and yeah, I pulled it and I was like, <laughs> trying to be quiet. I was like, <laughs> all right, <I'll> just, <laughs> this is just not fair. This is just not fair at this point. I honestly feel bad. <laughs> Oh my god, the gold Zapdos! Whew! This is like one of the best boxes already, and we're not even... Not even halfway through it. We're literally not even halfway through this booster box, and it's already insane. What else can we get out of here? We got a gold card! We got an alter, alter Hour card! We got a Trainer Gallery card, and we got a regular V card! And we got a Muck. Man, can you get two alt, uh, two alt arts from the main part of the set in one box? Let's find out! That would be a great time to find out. And I also don't know... How this Japanese box is gonna do compared to this English box? We'll see though. We got another Charizard! Another Charizard! Two 
This is the regular V, but it's still a banger. I don't know what this box is right now. We got like $175 worth of raw pulls out of this box already. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna like consider the cost of the box versus what we get. So this box again is like 140 bucks. You get the Japanese box for a decent chunk less. It's like $85. So we'll, we'll definitely consider that too. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. What else can we get out of this box? Just ridiculous. All we need right now is like a really cool Arceus card. Maybe some nice trainer galleries like the Umbreon, stuff like that. We'll have like one of the best boxes you could open. All right, Dust Skull Farfetch'd. Professor's Research. Whew. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best from Sword and Shield era. It's honestly like, it's, it's definitely a top five easily. Like, very easily. But also we have new sets gonna be released soon. It's gonna be exciting. Not Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield era is done. But uh, Scarlet and Violet. Paldea Evolve as we're recording this. Not too long, I think. Maybe what, three weeks? Something like that? Yeah, I think like three three weeks or so. Uh, we'll be opening up Paldea Vav. There's also the new 151 Japanese set, which I don't know a lot about, but uh, I feel like it's gonna be really cool. Oh my God, the trainer galleries are hitting. Everything's hitting today. Wow, the Urshabu VMAX. This is definitely one of the top tier ones. Wow, dude, I feel like I barely pulled this card when we opened Brilliant Stars. All right, let's keep rolling. Just just absolutely just going crazy on this box. It's just, it's just unreal. What else can you possibly get from this thing? After pack five, I was already good to go. Sneasel. What's your guys' favorite Sword and Shield set, though? Let me know in the comments section. I'm kind of curious. Um, I know some people say Crown Zenith a lot. Some people say Bobby Skies a lot. Some people say Brilliant Stars. Um, what else? Lost Origins, pretty sick. Astral Radiance. We got more Peko V. Left side of the box, absolutely unreal. We got one more pack on this side, and then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna move to the right side of the box. Infernape Hollow to end the left side. All right, let's keep heating it up in here. I don't know how much crazier we could get, but we'll see. We got nothing on this one. But yeah, I'm excited for new sets to be released. Uh, you know, you get to the point once you're like at the tail end of like the newest set release where you're like, all right, I'm just. I'm ready for a new set. I'm ready for a new chase. I'm ready to like just open up new cards and Pokemon always seems to time it perfectly. Right when you're like ready. We got Eevee. Was there a reverse? Wait. I'm, oh wait, no, that's in the reverse. What am I talking about? Eevee, Trainer Gallery, and another alternate! Oh my God. How do you do this? How do you do this? Oh my God. Where is this box from? I honestly have, don't. I don't think I've ever seen a box this good. This is just completely unfair for this other box. Like, I, I, I don't even. I was, I was actually kidding. I was actually kidding when I said, "Can you get two all arts in one box?" I didn't think it would actually happen. Oh my god, who, Arceus himself must have made this box. This is like, what is with our luck lately, too? Like, I'm recording this right after we did our live stream of. Oh, that's why of the uh, Platinum Arceus box. <laughs> if you guys missed that one, you're gonna want to check that out. That's probably why I'm still getting the like residual effect of like all that luck sprinkling into this box. Woo! Imagine if that second alt art was the Arceus alt art. I don't think you could beat this box. I don't think you could beat this box. <sighs> That's crazy. I am still recovering from that. What? Man, it is just a great set to open up. I mean, I think the proof is in the box right here that it's a crazy set to open. Wow, I'm just looking, I'm sitting and looking at the polls, I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me right now. What could make this any better? This is 100% gonna be tough for the Japanese box to beat. It is gonna be tough. I'd like to see how the Japanese box performs on this, because uh, you're definitely gonna get less packs, and you're probably gonna have less polls, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, just completely amazing box. One of the best boxes I've ever seen of Brilliant Stars. And like, there's so many packs left still. This is crazy. Into the Whimsicott V. All right, let's keep going here and see what else we got. White code card. I'll just go straight through this one. Could get a trainer gallery. And no, we don't get one on that. All right, getting closer to the end of this box. Still got a decent amount left. Go straight through this pack too. Um, heat ran on that one, okay. We got what? Maybe eight more packs left, a little bit more. And then we're going to move on to the Japanese box. We'll see. But, I mean, honestly, still, I feel like there's still more bangers in this box. I don't know why. I just got a good feeling about the rest of this box still. Brilliant stars, baby. Brilliant stars. It's just craziness. 
We got Cafe Master, Kessworm, Chimchar, Baltoy, Axe, Nosepad, Chimchar, Bibarel. Should I say every Pokemon's name? I normally don't. I just skip around sometimes, or sometimes I don't say them at all. Sometimes I just say like one. I don't know. Um, Wormadon, Cleansing Glove, Hunting Glove, Bear Tick, Corefish, Magmar, Spiritone, Burmy, Impidim, Sekrom, Trainer Gallery. I don't know why I keep messing up the, the, the pack trick. I did that in another video too recently. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't, I'm, I'm like slipping up here a little bit. Yeah, like multiple times. Whew. Okay, one, two. Oh, maybe I'm grabbing like more than. I think I'm gra I'm accidentally grabbing more cards. I'm kind of doing it too quickly. But I don't want to take too much of your guys' time up just sitting here counting out the cards. You have a good balance. Good balance. All right. Yeah, that should be. There we go. Okay, V Star Marker. Give me another big pull because I just want to see how much crazier this box could get. The Raikou V, solid. We should be right around $200. In pulls from this box, uh, not including any of the bulk or anything like that, or code cards or anything. I'm just counting the, the pulls. We're at about $200, uh, which is like $60 more in value than what you pay for the box. That's pretty awesome because there's not a ton of boxes you can open up at all. There's actually not many that you can up open up nowadays of really much of anything where you're like going to get back the value of what you pay on the box or more. It's tough. But... It happened to us after that one Charizard pull in the beginning, <laughs> which is crazy. Crawl Dawns. We got Star You. Ooh, Full Art Zamazena V. Let's go. First four out of the box. I mean, like, just nonstop. All right, we got one more pack. And then we're moving on to the Japanese Starbirth box. And uh, I am sorry, Japanese Starbirth box. You're going to have a battle on your hands here. It's going to be a brutal one. Wow, crazy box. Japanese Starbirth right here. Released a little bit before the English version, like always. Um, but let's get this opened up here. So, you know, the packs are going to have less cards. Obviously, the box is a lot smaller. But, uh, yeah, the packs are going to have less cards. It's going to probably be less pulls. And we're just going to see what happens. All right, let's start off with our first booster pack of 30, right? Oh, I Okay, that didn't open up. Uh, yeah, I think it's 30 in a box like this. Oh, and you could open up some and get nothing. So we're not going to do card tricks on these ones. We're just going to go straight through them and see what we can get. I mean, I, I, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be tough. I don't know, guys. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm starting to miss the yellow borders. Um, like, I was never 100% on board with the silver. Luminion. Okay, regular V card. We'll take it. All right, let's keep going. Uh, so far, we just have a Luminion. Why, what, what? Why is this? Why, oh, okay, so far we just have a Luminion. Uh, oh, 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 no, it's just a Hollow. Okay, Hollow. Let's continue. Come on, we could do better than a regular V card Luminion, right? I mean, I know you're not guaranteed anything in these packs, but you are, I believe, guaranteed stuff in a box. Uh, you should be guaranteed one secret rare. Oh, that's not a secret rare, but that's a V Star Arceus. Actually, this one. Okay, the border looks really, really, really good on this one. This one looks amazing. All right, we got one V-Star. Um, so this one has Arceus pulls in it. That's good, or at least one. I'm kind of like, honestly, I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, I can't open these today. I'm sorry. I, I am, I'm kind of nervous about this box compared to the English box. <laughs> like, It's not hitting at all, really, besides that Arceus, and we're almost halfway through the box. Woo! Man, ooh, what's that? What is that? What is that? Oh my god, this is the Arceus box. This is the Arceus comeback right now. Let's go, full art. Now we just need the gold Arceus. We need the alternate artwork Arceus. And we'll be looking pretty good. What do we got? Haunch Crow regular V card, okay. All right, let's keep going. We're almost halfway through this box. And, uh, you know, the pulls are starting to pile up a little bit, but it's really going to come down to if we can get some, some of the best cards in the set, honestly. Come on. Ugh. Okay. It's going to be tough with the Japanese ones. It really is. Unless you're opening up one of those crazy ones where you can get god packs and you have a million pulls in like every pack and there's only 10 packs in the box. That's a different story. But the boxes like these ones, they're way like more toned down in terms of like how much stuff you get. So the V-Star like universe stuff and um, V-Max Climax, those are definitely some of my favorite Japanese sets to actually open up. Um, the, the normal ones... Are a little tougher like this yeah but yeah I think I, uh, a little earlier in the video or not that long ago when I was op opening this box a little bit earlier uh, 
I had mentioned the the yellow borders. <sighs> yeah, I'm starting to miss them. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm missing, missing them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I overreacting to that a little bit? <sighs> I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I feel like I'm missing. Them. I don't know. It's just so just goes hand in hand with like English cards. I feel like. Um, but we'll see. Just we'll keep opening up the new sets and we'll see how we feel after a couple more sets. But yeah, I do. I, I definitely do miss them. I don't know. It's something about them. It's something about them. I feel like it made them more standalone versus like becoming more like combined with the Japanese cards. And Charizard Beast. Okay, we're getting V stars in this box, left and right. All right, but this is definitely nowhere near the English box. In fact, what's crazy is I think we only have like around twenty-five dollars in raw cards in this one, and we had over two hundred dollars easily, easily in the English box. And uh, yeah, I. Th I think I already know what the, what the winner is. I already knew what the winner is, I think, once we got that first Charizard pull. I think you guys probably know by now what the winner is. But hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to every single pack to give it a completely fair shot here. And you never know. Could be something absolutely wild. That's a pretty cool card, but it's not absolutely wild. But yeah, the most valuable card in the Japanese version is, you probably guessed it, it's the alternate artwork Charizard as well. Uh, about $140. A little cheaper, but... Even if we did get that. Actually, no, if we did get that, I take that back. If we did get that, I think this box would actually win because you gotta remember this box costs a lot less than the English version, and I'm taking that into consideration. But as it is now, we would need we, we really need that card. Or the Rainbow Charizard, or even the RCS Alt Art would possibly make this box win or tie or get close. But uh well, we got one more pack left, and uh I don't know if it's gonna happen. We got something! It is a Charizard regular V card. Winner is 100%, a million percent, the English version of Brilliant Stars. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, though. If you did, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.